Get ready. Jaden, can you set somebody up? Finish, finish, Jason. We've got three teams of two, all right? So we're gonna have the blue team, you're gonna start with the ball and you're gonna be attacking this goal here, all right? Using a whiteboard can help explain the session and is also great for giving the players an overview of what your time together will include. You'll quickly serve the ball into the red team who will then defend against the yellows. Stripes, you're on the attack. Come and get them, Blue. Stop them. This kind of wave practice is useful to help manage periods of rest and activity, particularly on a hot day like this. Oh, you know, in this game, guys, it's really important that your team has the ball because it's it's because of that that you're going to be able to score goals. So there's there might be times when you really want to pass to your partner. Reinforce your key messages. There shouldn't be lots and lots of these, just a small number that you and the players have identified as important. To the goal. And if Art John didn't come and close me down, I'd certainly be trying a shot. If Art John comes and, and defends against me, that's when I might be able to pass it and take him out the game. Is that OK? Avoid stopping the practice repeatedly. Instead, observe closely and then choose a good time to paint a clear picture. Here you go. Oh, he's going for it. I hope he's going to score, but he's going to score. I know he is. I know he is. Yes, play on, play on, play on. He's just kept it in. And it's your ball again. Theo, have another go. Just because you've made a coaching point, please don't think it will be perfect next time. Instead, manage the outcome positively and with care to help keep motivation high. Sometimes coaches want you to pass the ball all the time. But there are times when you've got to back yourself and your individual... Don't forget to build in time for brief recaps and reminders. Go and get a drink and we'll set the next game up. So we've got another shooting and finishing game. The game's going to start, we've got our under 10s going to play 3v3. <coughs> and each under 10 group... There can be a real benefit to working with mixed age groups. And part of your planning should give some thought as to how you manage the different ages and abilities that you will have. We're going to try to set up off one of our under 11s to get the ball back to try and score. When you're setting the ball back, it doesn't have to go back to the player that passed you the ball. If they're attacking this way, this team is trying to set up off our two under 11s this side. My initial thinking was to include the older players as passers so that the younger players might score with their help. Come on, and they're going to play 2v2 and they'll be given one player to help set and a player each on each side. When the teams changed so over, the younger players were given a slightly different role, but a role that was still an important yeah. one. Are we ready? 3v3. Noah's got the ball. Let's play. Go on, Tom. Get the ball, Tom. That's better. Caden, that's a great, that's why you were picked, Caden. Yeah, great pass. Dribble or pass, dribble it in or pass it in. Do it quickly. Like it. This could be good. Can we score? Love it, one nil. Nice position, Marley. Sam's tricky. Well done, Sam. Now we're looking to score. Oh, play on. We know that Caden's a great passer. Boom. Attack quickly. Excellent, Louis. Oh. Right, the goalkeepers are doing, well, really creative stuff. So if I'm looking to pass to Oakley there and Noah does that, who's free? Peyton. Peyton. 
Yeah, so if he gambles because I, I'm looking as though I'm going to pass to Oakley... To begin with, the player's decision-making might be a little yeah. slow, but over time, we hope that this will improve. Just be patient. So they're going to bounce the pass off you, and the same for you, Sam. Yeah? A quick reminder about the extra players around the pitch and how they might be used. Let's play, let's play. Use your side plays, you've got extra players. Oh, and again! Caden, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Oh. Yes! Oh. Here we go. So, Art John, you're alive now because Caden's got it. So every time Caden and, and Yusuf get it, you're alive because they might pass to you. Is that okay? Yeah. Sam? For you, every time uh, Oakley and Peyton get it, they might be looking to pass to you because they were your, the players who helped you score the goals. Do you remember? The players on the outside might be underused, and this is one downside to this kind of practice. So keep connected to them so that they feel included. Because that's helping your team. Get ready. Jaden, can you set somebody up? Boom, boom. Oh. oh, beauty. Swap over. So my under 11s are now my setters. So stripes, you've now got Caden who, can, who you can use there and you're gonna set up off Oakley, all right? For the blue team. There's another subtle tweak in the deployment of players to try to increase involvement. The coach needs to be constantly vigilant to the levels of activity and try to manage this effectively. Boom! Hey, great goal, Sam! Yes, Sam! <laughs> okay, for the last time, we're gonna go 2v2 with our under 11s. So my under 10s, I want you to try to help them in the way that they've just helped you get lots of goals. Great setting up, by the way, Elkley. Yeah, Peyton, well done on there, yeah. Well done, good support on there, helping your team. Are you ready? Get a ball, quick! Oh, John, leave that one! Yes, we're playing, now we're playing. Oh, Marley, that was almost a soup. Your patience will hopefully be rewarded as the players get to grips with the practice and the decision-making suddenly speeds up.